1979, President Jimmy Carter did something extraordinary. He had 32 solar panels installed on the roof of the White House. This was a bold move, a statement to the world that the United States was committed to reducing its dependence on foreign oil and promoting renewable energy. But in 1986, the solar panels were taken down by President Ronald Reagan. Some have suggested that Reagan removed the panels as a symbolic gesture to distance himself from the energy policies of his predecessor. Others have said that there were concerns about the cost of maintaining the panels as well as worries about potential damage to the roof of the White House. Whatever the reasons, the removal of the solar panels was seen by many as a step back from the commitment to renewable energy that Carter had championed. It had lasting consequences for the United States energy policy. Despite the differences between the two administrations, it wasn't until President Barack Obama took office that new solar panels were finally installed on the roof of the White House.